This video is going to address the question of whether you can press a past parallel limb such as the 2017-2018 Hoyts with Ultraflex limbs in a Apple Edge Economy bow press and the answer to that question is yes and the reason it's yes is because of these two crash bars right here. So the problem with past parallel limb bows in a linear press is that the angles are negative so when you press it the bow wants to slide downward and will shoot out of the press. But with these crash bars on here, that's not possible. So I've pre-adjusted this so that these two crash bars are supporting the riser. Now you can also stick them through the riser and that will that'll keep the, uh, the bow from moving up or down, but we already have pressure from the limb tips that's going to be pushing downward. It can't go up unless the limbs get wider, so we really are safe to do it this way. So just adjust your press fingers to a height and an angle so that they're just below the axle and roughly matching the same angle as the limb tips. I'll go ahead and do the same thing on this side. I've already pre-adjusted. And then we're going to hook up the chain system and we're ready to press. And there we go. That bow is completely pressed, ready to, ready to change the strings, to remove the axles, whatever you need to do to it. That, that bow is completely secure in that press. Uh, there's no possible way it's coming out of there. Uh, it can't slip downward because the riser is sitting against these crash bars. And uh, that's actually my preferred method of pressing because unlike the Hoyt adapters where you're pressing here and here, you're putting a lot of extra strain on the riser, this is purely a limb tip press. This is the way the limbs are designed to be, to be bent. And this is going to be the easiest and least strain on the bow and also a totally secure method of, of uh, pressing that, that bow. Good to release it. Just drop the chain and the jack system off and it's out. Now one one upgrade I would highly recommend is adding a washer behind this pivot bolt right here. One of the nuisances with this press is that the way it ships, there's no friction here and this thing as soon as you let go of it falls to this position or to this position. If you add a washer back here and squeeze this connection, you can make that arm stay wherever you want it to stay and it will make the uh, press much more enjoyable to use. 